Shalom Aleichem. This is a wonderful content that I'm trying to spread out as much as I'm able to. A wisdom that is being revealed to me from one day to the next by our beloved Maker. There is a great concept of how this creation works and how Hashem made it all happen by looking at the Torah the Creator created the worlds like that it's written that thousands on thousands of years before the creation became physical and things started to be seen the Maker was observing and looking onto his right arm and that is the place of the Torah and after looking at the Torah he created the world um, so through that way of observation of our beloved maker into the letters of the Torah he got the vision the idea of how to make things happen in the beautiful way that he accomplished and that he made the world to be seen to our eyes and to that sight of our maker looking into the Torah there are many many layers it's not like a person who sits in front of a book and reading when the Creator is learning Torah is looking at the Torah so while he is looking into the Torah he is seeing all the aspects and all the sides all the angles all the combinations all the effects that can take place out of that learning all the options all the possibilities and throughout that kind of learning in endless amounts of layers the Creator is coming to conclusions he's coming to deep understandings so it is as if there are endless amounts of books that are open in front of his eyes and he's sitting on top of all and reading through all of them because he's connecting the riddles and the secrets and the hints and the depths of any word and any letter and any angle of observation of the Torah to all the rest of the possibilities so it is as if he is learning in thousands and thousands millions endless amount of books in the same time so in the time of redemption all the books will stand in a straight line and the circle of six thousand years of deep sleep will complete the aspect of deep sleep is not an aspect that is mocking that is joking that is laughing at us as if we were sleeping or god forbid as if the heavenly kingship of our maker was asleep it is an aspect of darkness six thousand years of sleep means six thousand years that light was not shining in perfection like on a person that is asleep that even though that he is alive he is not fully there he's not enjoying all the smells and all the sounds and all the sights because he is asleep also us during those six thousand years of creation even though we are alive sort of we're not enjoying the full beauty and potential of creation and then we will enter into the 1000 years of redemption the eternity of the present existence the name of Hashem Havaya Baruch Hu, the blessed one Yud Ki Vavke, is the name that is shining light in uh, in full capacity in full speed in full illumination and all of that means all the light that will shine through the letters when all the books will be open in straight line means that 
all the learnings to all the angles will shine in perfection that is the reflection of the name Havaya Yud Kevavke and it is the reflection of the light in the letters of the Torah like we explained and from the name of Havaya from the name of Hashem to the rest of the letters of the Torah that will be spread and open in front of Hashem and it will be the reflection of the light into the letters of the Torah from the name of Havaya to the rest of the letters like we said in all the outcomes of all the combinations of the letters of all the books of Torah scrolls of Torah that are open in front of him like we explained that all the Torah is the reflection of the man like that it's written Zot HaTorah Adam that Torah that we're talking about always is the man means that the man is the perfection of the Torah means that all the Torah is being reflected to the man man and woman of course 600,000 letters of the Torah if you will count the number of letters that are in the Torah of course that is written in the ancient Hebrew and not in the um, different languages of translations you have 600,000 letters of the Torah equal to the 600,000 souls of the children of Israel that were standing in front of Mount Sinai and received the Torah from it we are the Torah's letters reflections we are her lifetimes means that any person that lives life of Torah the Torah is reflecting itself onto him and we are the rest of the tale of creation we are the great 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 grandchildren of Abraham Yitzchak Yaakov, the children of the children the, of the holy ancestors and the holy the holy fathers and the holy mothers the holy ancestors we are the children of Adam and Eve Adam ve Chava Adam and Chava we are the souls that came down to this world from the heavenly kingship from the sea of all souls that our importance is endless is so great so important that cannot be described we are the soul we are the soul itself we are the essence that is existing in one time and we are shining the light of our maker to anyone that is surrounding us as long as you are connecting yourself to the light of the Torah the Torah is shining through you and when the Torah is shining through you it shines out to the people who are surrounding you to the nature that is surrounding you to the animals to the trees trees to the to the walls of your house to the walls of the places you're entering to the streets to the alleys to the sky you are a lighthouse of light that is being sent through the create through the letters of the Torah by the Creator and we are the essence that is being existed that is taking place we are the soul itself and we are the expression of the existence of the blessed present one the Creator our maker thank you